Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack. Welcome back to Mafia 2. In the last chapter, we settled a debt, lost Joe, found Joe, and then killed Derek. And this is chapter 15. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad, and they were only going to get worse. The truth was going to come out sooner or later. And then we were going to have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. All right, so welcome back to Chapter 15, allow me to fuck this name up again. Per aspera ad astra. I think that's Latin. I don't speak Latin, though. <laughs> yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. Uh, Carlo wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? That's that sounds a little fishy. If you ask me. <laughs> so apparently per aspera ad astra means to the stars through difficulties. And that's a pretty fitting name. But we're gonna meet up with an old friend before heading out to go see Falcone. Mr. Scaletta, can you get in please? Hey, old man, what are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. You said toasty? Uh, All right. You are. This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. You got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead. Half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead. And now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're going to listen to what I have to say, and you're going to listen good. What you did in Chinatown. That was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? When he was butchered. He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. That's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. You called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. It was all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know, something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. All right. Well, uh... Let's head over to that planetarium. Take out Falcone. And by head over to that planetary, I mean take this guy's car <laughs> while he walks away. So, here's this one thing I don't like about this game is that sometimes the cops just don't give a shit, and then other times they do give a shit. Like, it's the fucking weirdest thing ever. 
It's like, I was stealing a car, and, like, as I was walking in, like, making it look like it was my car, like, then they fucking arrest me. But, like, I'm clearly pick-locking, lock-picking this, uh, this car, and, like, they just drive away and, like, paid no mind. Or, like, I stole that one guy's car, and then, like, a cop was driving right by and just didn't give a shit. <laughs> but, yeah, now we're at the planetarium. And it's time for the final chapter. Or rather, the final showdown. But boy, is, uh, this chapter is kind of hard. Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito. The boss wants to see you. Good. I want to see him, too. One, uh, one thing, though, Vito. I gotta take your gun. Yeah, all right. Here you go. Smooth like butter. <laughs> I don't think that guy's gonna have any more children. I shot Vito, rather, shot him in the dick like four times. Like he's not he's not gone up from that. Alright, so this whole planetarium is filled with guys. And is that guy just fell off the staircase? Holy shit, I just I do Oh man, I forgot about that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I guess it's been so long since I've played this, I mean, uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, this whole planetarium is filled with guards. Funny thing is, is that I don't die until, like, the next checkpoint, so I actually did pretty well. Uh, you gotta hide behind here, make sure these guards try not to kill you. Sometimes they'll run up on you. Uh, I guess maybe they do just normally run up on you, I don't know. But uh, just hide behind all these covers and wait for them. Eventually they'll poke their heads out, sometimes they'll run at you. But if you take it slow, you should be fine. Uh, automatic weapons are your best friend, as always. And uh, yeah, that's probably the only tips I can give you, really. For at least this part. The final fight, though, is, is where things get out of hand. But we'll get there when we get there. So far, we just have to. Our objective right now is just to make it into the planetarium. That's a lot easier said than done. Ooh, got him good. Let's see if. I feel like their head was a little higher, so I don't know why I moved down a bit. Oh, nope. Maybe I was wrong. Yep. I was, maybe I was right. Maybe I am wrong. Take him out. And, uh, just be careful when walking in here. There's a part where, um, what's it called? There's a guy in the ceiling. Uh, looking at the map tells you there's like a few guys and then like once you clear out the room you're gonna see like there's still one guy living like alive and like that confused me for a little bit until I realized he was on top so if you uh, take things slow you should be fine that guy almost ended me that was uh, a little scary I wonder what he shot me with it's probably a shotgun he was really close oh no actually it looks like an automatic Alright, never mind. It was an automatic. That would have got me really good. Yep, so right there. That guy. And then you take him out. And he's... Oh. Oof. Oh, he fell down. Really badly. That sucks to be him. I don't know, you tell me. Fucking asshole. <laughs> I mean, shit, that was a better line than, uh, what he's scared, asshole, but at least that one works. <laughs> Yours works both ways, friend. Alright, be careful here. Throw grenades, and then they rush down the stairs, so. Just heal up, wait for them. 
and they just kind of stand there, I guess? I don't know. I don't know if that's normal. But they were just standing there. Maybe my game was finally getting tired of me. I was playing this game for like 11 hours straight. <laughs> Alright, so this point you don't really have to be careful all 12, but if you make to the cover quicker than I did, you'll be golden. So there's only like four or five guys left. Uh, two behind there, and then the two over there, and I think there's another guy running around the corner. Yeah, it's about like four to five guys. If you clear the room, it'll be safe. And then once you make it into that shining door over there with the dome, gone. Magnum him. Holy shit. Uh, if you make it into that dome, that's a checkpoint. And um, then I died, unfortunately. <laughs> But uh, just to keep things seamless, I'm almost positive I just kept it going. Uh, so you gotta be careful here, because there's gonna be a guy running up the stairs. But if you rush, uh, if you if you take this part slow, you'll die, because they'll they'll overpower you, because you're out of batting. But if you rush down here, you'll overpower them, and um, it'll be a lot easier for you. So if you just keep in mind that there's going to be a guy rushing at you once you walk in there and you beat him towards the stairs before he does, you'll be golden. If you can even get closer, that's even better. But, uh, yeah. So once you make it past those stairs, also, uh, I forgot to mention, you can actually move the telescope. Not that it does anything. At least not that I know of. Uh, there's like a switch on top. I didn't like I I I, I found it like the first time I ran through here, but like the this is like the second or third time I have to make it through this part. But anyway, um, what was I saying? You can if you can make it uh, through here, you'll be set because then um, then we're gonna get to the final the final firefight. Which is just around the corner, and then you killed like the ooh, ooh, headshot. Jesus Christ, that looked like that one hurt. <laughs> um, you're gonna have to kill like three guys around the corner, and then there's gonna be a guard blocking the door. And then you make it through that door, and that's the final area of the game. Ooh, ooh, god, I'm good. Jesus. All right. There's a lot of bodies here. But yep, here he comes. This guy has a shotgun, if I'm not mistaken, so if you just take him out real quick. Should be fine. <laughs> Gone. That guy had more health than normal. Interesting. Alright, to the final area. they said? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Did your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouched for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey, if you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito. Let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked about, Joe. You're gonna throw one, that away? Do it! Two. Now! 
Gotta love Joe. So I died here at like a handful of times, and this is the, the route where I, I won. Uh, this is really difficult. Falcone, <laughs> the fuck was that, Joe? <laughs> Falcone has so many hit points, and he has a lot of men. Um, the way I figured to do it was sit here for a little bit, wait until you thin out the first wave of guys, and then once you do that, make it around uh, to the staircase. So that should be the first wave of guys. Then I made it into here, into this staircase right here. And then I just kind of walked around here and circled the place. Every time I made one of these divots, I, I check to make sure there isn't that many guys. And if I saw one walk in there, well, I took him out. I shot that guy in the dick. Holy crap. Joe's actually a really good shot, especially with that gun that he has right now. Uh, he, he's very useful. But, but as long as you, uh, you know, take it slow, you should be fine. Thought I smelt something burning. But then I realized the, the oven isn't on, so why would anything be burning? Or not the oven, the stove is on. Oh yeah. So we're gonna take out all the, the remaining guys. This should be like the final wave. There's like one more guy. And then once the last guy dies, Falcon will pop up and try and tear you a new one. Now, like I said, he has a lot of hit points. So if you could just lay into him, you'll be fine. It's like, look how many Magnum shots he takes. Holy crap, look at that. Just wait for him. Boom, headshot. Still not dead? Pops right back up. Boom, another shot. Boom, another shot. That was like four shots from a magnum. And I think I hit him with a few submachine guns. You know something, Carlo? For the last ten years, all I'd done was kill. I killed for my country. I killed for my family. I killed anybody that got in my way. But this one... This one's for me. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking prick. Reminds me of your prohibition days too. <laughs> took away your life. Sure like the government took away my alcohol. Doing here. Don't worry, I took care of it. You'll see. So, uh, what was he talking about back there? Nothing. He made me an offer. That's all. Yeah, I figured out that much. What kind of offer? He wanted me to whack you. Said he'd make me a capo. Give me my own crew. You know, pretty much everything I ever wanted. Yeah? So why the hell didn't you do it? Remember that five bucks you owe me? Damn. Well, that's pretty much the end of the game. What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right, then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Come on. Let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. So what's the big secret? Hey, 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 what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal.
and that was Mafia 2, guys. That was one hell of a ride. <laughs> For the first time playing through that game, that game was really fun. That was a really good game, and I'm glad 2K Trek managed to make it. So, our final thoughts on the game was that that game was one hell of a ride. Was was a really good game. game. Fuck, I'm stuttering at my own words. And that ending was really tragic. I don't know what happens to Joe. I don't know if he died. I don't know if he just... I don't know. I don't know if they let him live and made him move. Chances are they, they whacked him. And that's really sad. He doesn't appear in Mafia 3, at least not that I know of. I don't remember from playing that game. But uh, I, I'd like to show the credits because of all the people that worked on this game. Th their names need to be shown and, and given credit to for this wonderful, wonderful game. If you haven't picked up Mafia 2 when it came out back in 2010, or you haven't played it, or you haven't even heard of Mafia, of the Mafia series, this is a great game to pick up. You don't necessarily need to play the first one to play this one. Um, some of the references to the first game will probably be lost on you like it was on me uh, because I didn't finish playing the first game. I didn't get around to beating it. Um, actually, it's really funny that I forgot the main character's name. I think it's Tommy, Tommy something. Angelo. You whack him in the, the last chapter, in, in chapter 14 anyway. Um, but that's not really much of a spoiler because that happens in the end of the first game too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, actually, the whole thing about him being a rat is pretty much already known from the first like five minutes of the game. But regardless, that's, that's Mafia 1. We're on Mafia 2 right now. And I want to thank everyone who watched this Let's Play. And really, for the people that I want to thank are the people that made this wonderful game. So I'm just going to spotlight their names real quick. I'm probably going to get copyright strict because of these songs anyway, but that's fine. But boy... Was this game really fun? Uh, just some quick thoughts, uh, real quick. Yeah, I guess we'll make some quick thoughts. <laughs> uh, the game's graphics are pretty good. I think they still kind of hold up a little bit. Um, I feel like there are still better looking games from that time period, or even games that came out before that that look better too. Um, like I want to say Grand Theft Auto 4 looked really good in comparison to this game, but that's not really like a bad thing. I think another game that came out this time was uh, Mass Effect 2, and that game was gorgeous. But that's like a different type of game, so I can't really, I'm like comparing apples to oranges there, you know what I mean? But um, for the time period, for the time period that this game came out in, I think the graphics still hold up. I still have a little issue like a few issues with like the models and how they reuse them but that's that's fine I'm, I'm letting that pass I just kind of wish they didn't happen where there's like the same model in the same cutscene like two or three times I wish they had more mod excuse me more models uh used like like I didn't really mind that the same red haired woman was always at Joe's apartment like that didn't really matter to me as much like I, I don't feel like that blew the immersion for me but like what blew the immersion was like there was two um i don't know there's like two chinese guys standing next to me in prison like that kind of thing kind of blew the immersion for me <laughs> or like how in the greasers like joe shot one of the greasers when you go back the same guy opens the door and it's like what why are you still alive <laughs> why are there so many twins in in, in empire bay like <laughs> but i i'm not sure if that's just uh Limitation of the hardware, maybe some time restraints. I'm not exactly sure. But I don't really think that's going to hinder like anyone else's experience playing this game. Because the rest of the game is fucking phenomenal. I, I think the story is really great. Uh, with like the friendship that you have between you and Joe. And just living throughout the life of the Mafia. And then having shit just hit the fan all at once. It's kind of like how the Joker had like his one bad day. It's just like a one bad week stretch that just destroyed everything. And, and like, I like how the game 
shows both sides of what it what it's like working in like the mafia back in the 40s like you can have like all the money in the world like i had like fourteen thousand dollars at the end like that time money is like ridiculous amounts it's like maybe billion dollars or whatever i don't know how much money that is in today's money but whatever and then like the next day you like piss off the wrong person one day and so it's all gone and it's just uh and like and and it's like then you if you dip into like the drug side of things and then like everything's just a shit show at that point like like it, it's it's really interesting i like the dynamic of how the characters act with each other and like how the story flushes out throughout the entire game um i think it started out a little slow for like maybe the first two or three chapters like bar like the tutorial chapter where you're fighting in sicily and i think it was i think i think that was casa nostra right nostra? i'm not exactly sure i forget i'd have to look that up but besides the point i, I like that um i like the modeling on the the main characters like all the characters with names I think they all look really well. Leo Galante, uh, Vito, Joe, Falcone, even Vinci, like all of them. I think they all look pretty well. Eddie, like they all look pretty well. And then you have like the the not so important characters uh, that don't really have the best modeling jobs, like that woman that keeps appearing at Joe's place, or um, not Mr. Not Mr. True. Mr. True actually had pretty decent modeling for a character that only really appeared in the last like five minutes of the game i think that was the name i was thinking of mr chu not mr Wu. i'm not sure if mr Wu is even a name in the game maybe it is i don't know i'm gonna still stand that mr Wu is the name of the character in the prison i don't know why i'm emphasizing so much on this <laughs> it's not really that important <laughs> but yeah uh another point that i thoroughly enjoyed was the music of this game the radio selection was great i love the orchestral music like the like the the original pieces for this game especially the main theme the main theme is really good that song that played right at the end before it fades black that was the main theme good song this song right now is really good um i if this game just has really great music. It has really great music. It has pretty good gameplay too. Um, the only gameplay that I didn't really enjoy so much was the driving, but I think that's just because the cars of that time period were a lot heavier and were a lot harder to drive than maybe like my Honda Civic that I have in like the fucking driveway. <laughs> like they're they're just harder cars to drive, especially since most of those cars must have been manuals. You know, it's a lot different than today's cars. Um, for a game that's really accurate for the times, though, there's just one nitpick that I have with it, and it's it's the Playboy thing. Uh, for starters, they didn't have color picture Playboys in the 40s and 50s. <laughs> and B, Playboys didn't exist until 53, and this game ends in 51. So Playboys didn't even exist throughout this game. So I don't know why they're holding up Playboys throughout this game not that i should be bringing up a big point in this <laughs> like to begin with like, it doesn't really matter in the end like it doesn't matter i don't know why like i remember why i brought this up because i remember i was editing this one day and i was like why why is steve holding a playboy but playboy is even a thing back <laughs> and i remember looking it up and i found out that esquire has um like every one of their catalogs like every one of their magazines like down from like the 40s to today on their website I thought that was really neat that they did that. But anyway, that's just something that doesn't need to fucking come up. Oh, speaking of Playboy, it's on the screen. <laughs> but yeah, uh, again, I think that's pretty much the end of the credits. I just want to, those are like my final pieces. That This game was really good. If you haven't picked it up or haven't got a chance to play it, play it. It's, it's really good. Um... I was fiddling around with like the after the game like uh sandbox mode it's not really anything to come back to but something to come back to is the story i I definitely say come back to this story this game is really fun to play through but anyway uh just before we head out there's still a few more minutes left in the video and i just wanted to show you the extra contents 
real quick. I don't have everything, but what I do have is the albums. And it shows you, like, the main characters uh, who you're playing as, like, uh, Joe Barbro, the main character. Like, just the main players of the story. I don't know if this gets unlocked at the end of the game or if you were able to have this from the beginning. I'm not exactly sure uh, when you were able to unlock this. But you get to see, like, your family. I'm, I'm surprised Henry was a part of your family, which is interesting. You had Eric, who didn't really play that big a deal. Marty. Marty had a really good model, too. Um, Mafia. Like, then you have the Mafia stuff. So you have, like, just the, the characters throughout the game. It's pretty. And then you have the City album, which I actually forgot what that was. So I'm glad I have a chance to remember. So once I get over there. You have Clemente. Falcone, and I think you have Vinci. Yeah, Vinci. And Leo Galante. I believe he's the last one, right? Nope. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Steve and Derek. Oh, and Brian O'Neill. Mr. Wong. Oh, boy. Oh, Antonio Balls. <laughs> Anthony Balls. Uh, and those are just the greasers. Yeah, there's the last one. Alright. Then you have the city, so it's like Mike Bruski, Harry. Forgot about Harry. Bruno. It's like a quick summary of them. El Greco. Giuseppe. Yeah, it's just, just characters that you've met throughout the game. No idea who that was. Didn't read that. Uh, don't know who that is. You know, it's just the characters that you've met throughout the game. And uh, other than the album that you have, you also have the Car, car Cyclopedia, which is just an entire list of the car and like their models. So you get to see what the, the models of the cars look like. And I think I only have 38. I don't know how many there are in the game. Um, I'm not even sure if you can change the color of them either. Maybe you can. What does that say? Change color. Yeah, you can change the color of triangle, I guess. Um, I will say, though, that the models of the cars actually look really well in this game. Like, I think they look pretty good. So that's a huge plus in this game. I like the way that the, the, the cars look. Not so much how they feel when driving, but how they look, definitely. It's really neat. <laughs> it's fucking milk truck. <laughs> Um, I don't know if this game only has, like, I, I can't read that number, I think it says 36. I don't know if this game only has 36 cars, or if that's how many cars I've either been in or have driven, I'm not exactly sure. But I definitely didn't drive the, the milk, the milk truck, so, I don't know how, I don't know how the car, the car cyclopedia works. And then the other thing was, um, the... Shit. What was it? The monster posters and the Playboys that you get. There's like 50 Playboys, I believe, and there's like 150 something wanted posters. I definitely did not drive that snowplow. <laughs> but it's pretty neat that you get to like look throughout these the car models. I thought that was pretty cool. Just like flipping through all of them. I'm at 28 now, I believe. So there's not that many, many more left. Oh yeah, that cop car. That cop car was nice. I don't think I've driven the station wagon. I, I don't know where to find that car. The Thunderbolt. <laughs> and the Smith truck. That's pretty neat. There aren't that many cars in this game. But it's neat that they actually have a model uh, model viewer in this game. I don't know of any other games that do that kind of thing. But yeah, so you have 50 Playboys, which you can only find throughout the game. And I've shown you all the ones I found. And on the Wanted posters, I believe there's 159. 159 Wanted posters. And you find the Wanted posters throughout the city, randomly. Uh, the artworks you unlock as you progress through the game, I think there's more artworks that you can pick up. But I'm not exactly sure how to 
get all of them. But yeah, playboys are just the playboys that you find throughout the missions. There's like a few of them in every mission. But yeah, you got to you get to see uh, the paintings and stuff. These are really cool posters. I think some of these were actually promotional posters for when the game was coming out. Paintings, well, not so much the paintings, but the posters were definitely like promotional stuff for when the game was coming out. Oh, and one more thing I'd like to talk about is that um, this game actually came with the map of Empire Bay, and it's really big. Like, it's a really big map. It's a really good map, too. It's really high detail. Let's see if I can reach over here real quick, just like as a final mention type thing. But uh, like on the back, I believe it is. Let me see if it's on the back. Yeah, on the back, there's this like giant newspaper like ad on it, and it looks really cool. <laughs> Like, this is a really cool poster if like if anyone likes video game posters like I feel like if you want to get the Mafia 2 experience I'd probably pick up a copy that actually has um, a, a map within it because the map is really neat and it has a cool um, second cover of what looks like to be Joe Vito and Harry Henry sorry and they're like looking over the, the thing and these are my statistics I died like 46 times, <laughs> did like 10 hours worth of gameplay, but like my clock actually says about 11 and a half hours. I think most of that is just waiting around. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about Mafia 2 related, that is. And uh, I guess I'll close out when, uh, when I'm done showing off my stats. Oh, what did it say my favorite gun was? What was it? Favorite car was the Jefferson. What was that? The first car that you get? That's right. I thought I liked the, uh... What's it called? Um, Luca Garino's car. My favorite gun, I believe, was the Tommy gun in this game, right? Locks picked successfully at 11. Really? Only 11 locks? Not that bad. <laughs> 25 seconds. <laughs> yeah, because when I saw them, I'd exit them. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's it. That's all I wanted to show. Those game statistics. So that's everything. That's Mafia 2. I hope you enjoyed uh, this playthrough. I'll see you guys in the review. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye.